Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you markers and regions in Reaper. Now, the purpose of markers and regions is to let us know where we are in our song or project. So we could label our song parts or locations. So for project in front of me here, let's create some markers. I'll put the cursor at bar one. Now I have snapping turned on over here. So the cursor is gonna snap to bar one. This way our markers are right on the grid, but they don't have to be. We could place them wherever we want. Let's put one at bar one and go to the insert menu and choose marker. We could also use the keyboard shortcut M. Just type M and it creates a marker right over here. And we could double click it to give it a name. Let's call it intro. Let's add another one at bar two. But instead of choosing insert marker, we'll choose this option, insert marker and prompt for name. This keyboard shortcut is shift M. So we could type shift M and that creates a marker, but it also opens up the dialog. So we can quickly name it. Let's call this verse. Let's put another one at bar three and we'll call it chorus. Now we could see where our song parts are. And we could drag these around to put them in different spots with snapping on or off. And we could also right click the marker to edit it or remove it from here. But we could also remove it with a modifier. On PC, it's Alt, and on Mac, it's Option and just click it to delete our markers. Now each marker has a marker ID. We can see it right here, one, two, and three. Or we could double click them and see them right over here. Or we could change that ID. This is gonna allow us to jump directly to those markers using the number keys on our QWERTY keyboard. So if I type in one, it jumps to marker one, type two, it jumps there, type three, and so on. And it'll do it on the fly. So while playing back our project, we could jump to our markers with those keys. To one, two, and three. We could also use the bracket keys on our computer keyboard to go forward and backward through our markers. Jump forward or backward that easily. And again, we could do it during playback. So we can very quickly navigate through our project. And we could also change the colors of our markers. Right now, they're red. Let's change this one right over here to yellow and this one to blue, and this one to green. So we can use our colors so we can more quickly see the parts of our song. Now, if we double click in the spaces between our markers, it's gonna create a time selection between them. Just double click right over here or up here to create time selections between the markers, which we could use to select just a section of our audio and cut it and paste it that easily. And we could also add markers during playback. Let's delete these, hit play and hit M to create them. And that's without the prompt, or we can name them on the fly. Give it a name, hit it again, give it another name, 
so we can quickly create markers on the fly, with and without prompting for their name. And we could also snap to our markers if they're not already on the grid. Let's turn snapping off, move this one over here, and with snapping on, our media items are going to snap to our grid here and here, but they're also going to snap to our markers like this, making it a lot easier to line things up. Now let's take a look at regions. Now the difference between markers and regions, markers are based on points, one specific location, where regions are sections. So instead of just having a start for our regions, we have a start and an end. So we can select from bar one to bar two and right click up here and choose create region from selection. And that creates this region up here. We could add a name by right clicking and editing the region. Let's call this intro. Let's call this our verse, but instead of right clicking it and choosing it from here, we can use the keyboard shortcut Shift R. Hit Shift R, and that creates a region up here. Right click it to edit it. Let's call this verse. And we'll do one more for our course from bar three to bar five. Shift R. Chorus. And to make these stand out, we should give them a different color. So let's right click this one, change the color to yellow. Let's make this one green, and this one blue. And now the regions stand out based on their name and their color. So you can quickly see which region is which. And we can edit them just by dragging them around. Go to the side and change the beginning or the ending. And we can even change the boundaries of both of them at the same time. Go in between and change the length of each region like this. And just like with the markers, we could double click the region to create a time selection based on that region to make editing a little quicker. We could double click the verse, select the kicks, and just cut out the kicks in this section and then paste them wherever we want. Now, one of the benefits of regions over markers is that we could use them for arranging our song or our song parts, because not only does it give us the labels of our sections, when we move them, the underlying items, whether it be audio, MIDI, or video, are going to move as well. So let's say we want to put the verse before the intro, just drag it from here, and then it's going to move the regions and the audio within it. Watch. If I drop it, it moved the verse and all the items in the verse, before and after. So we can move the song parts around along with the media. Just drag it to put the song parts in a different order. And we could also duplicate our regions the same way. Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and just drag it over here to duplicate the intro. Now you have two of them and the rest of the song moves over. Let's do the same thing with the verse. So now we have two verses instead of one. And it moves the chorus over. Do it again with the chorus. And now we have two choruses instead of one. So it's very useful for arranging our song. Now if you want an overview of our markers and regions, go to the View menu and choose Region Marker Manager. And that opens up this dialog where we can see all the regions or our markers. Let's make some more. All in one window. 
We could hide the markers and just see the regions. We could rename them right from here, change their color, or change their ID. And one of my favorite things in this window is we could double click the ID and it's going to change the view in the arrangement window. Let's double click the intro and it stretches it out horizontally so the intro fills the screen. Do the same with the verse or the chorus. So we can just see that song part or that region. And that's in the region marker manager. So that's pretty much it. That's the markers and regions in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.